Alright. Thank you. I got a midweek motivation for y'all this week, all right? Bishop brought it down. Man. He broke 2020 down for us. Speaking of bringing down with that spirit, like my spiritual father does. Speaking of that, pretty off topic at the same time. Have y'all ever checked out Sharice Nelson Macintosh? Man, I don't know how Sharice Nelson does it. But I want her at the next gospel fest. All right. We shouldn't be that far. If we hurry, we'll be that soon. But, you know, I was supposed to be there to support Lil Asmar, but, you know, and I should have went, because, you know, Alabama college football got their behinds whooped. Yeah. Um, that's my favorite college football team, Alabama. And, well, the topic is really stay tuned for what I have next. So, I have a lot of Fox commercials coming up. So, stay tuned for a lot of Fox commercials in 2020. Yeah. I think I have some more commercials from the WB. I definitely have that. Can you guess where? Wanna guess where? Yeah. They're off of Judge Mathis. So. Well, I know a guy that will love that. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to Lamar Howard on YouTube, you know. He asked for it a while ago. I don't know. If he, he said he was freaking unsubscribed to me. But it didn't faze me because I had just reached 200 subscribers. So it don't faze me. But if you see Lamar, tell him that the Judge Mathis commercials that he asked for are coming. <laughs> Lamar Howard. <laughs> They're coming. We have like 
three or four more blocks. I got some commercials from June of 2000 from the WB coming up. have like three more blocks to go after this fork we can make it if we hurry always be celebrating for what it's not like you doing well giants Twelve thirty-six. we gotta hurry And I have a video which will justify why I didn't immediately guess that Wayne Brady was the fox and I should have. There's the reason I guessed Fonz from Coffee Brown. That's coming up soon. Oh. I feel bad for every Giants fan, Jets fan, and every Bears fan because you guys never make the playoffs, ever. So I feel bad for y'all, very bad for y'all. Let me justify my support even though I was a Philadelphia Eagles fan so I live in New Jersey. I saw how good you were doing. I think Philadelphia was already out of the 2007-2008 season for the playoffs. So when I found out the New York Giants were in the running, I was happy for y'all and very happy when you won. I remember I stayed up watching on Fox 5, I think. <laughs> and in 2012, when when Philadelphia was out, and you know, I rooted for the Giants again, and they made it again, and won again. <laughs> but I had no interest in going to the parade well 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 if it isn't the Patriots fans I'm an Eagle fan so yeah uh, Patriots fan just walked by but I remember Reno Romano's voice uh, can be sometimes annoying sometimes Something, something, something. Up next on NBC. So I remember his voice pretty much gave me a headache during Super Bowl 43 in 2009. Voice is pretty annoying sometimes. But I still like, you know, it's just we're going to take this shortcut.
hopefully the train ain't early and we still have time to purchase those tickets where are we going so yeah that's how I know that Super Bowl 43, 46, 49 and my Eagles Super Bowl being on Super Bowl Super Bowl 52 being on NBC because of Reno Romano's voice. The Voice Live. Monday on NBC. Alright, we made it. I gotta go. But Reno Romano's voice can be annoying. But take care of yourself now. Goodbye.